thing you have to understand about sousaphone players is that we're inherently great dancers. <laughs> Beats one and three are ingrained into our soul from a very early age. Interestingly enough, that's also the reason that French horn players can't dance. Oh yeah. The twister. The alternating knee bend. Yes. For more advanced Sousa dancers, I recommend my personal favorite, the double twisting bell flare. Yeah. Sousa dancing is primarily a lower body sport, so it's always important to warm up with some stretches before you get into it. I recommend a simple bend at the waist with mid hip rotation, or the seated hammy stretch. I'm so impressed with kids these days, constantly pushing the sport. They're coming up with moves so new they don't even have names. When I see young people dancing like this, I know that the world of Susie dancing is in great hands.